हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट बेसिक प्रपोर्शनिटी थ्योरम इन द चैप्टर ट्रायंगल इफ अ लाइन इज ड्रॉन पैरेलल टू वन साइड ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल टू इंटरसेक्ट द अदर टू साइड्स एट टू डिस्टिंक्ट पॉइंट्स देन द अदर टू साइड्स आर डिवाइडेड इनटू सेम रेशियो व्हाट इज द गिवन डाटा इन दिस स्टेटमेंट the given data in the statement is line l is parallel to side bc and it intersects ab at x and bc at y so what we have to prove this line l divides ab and ac in equal ratio it means what ax upon xb will be equal to ay upon yc so construction is draw h1 perpendicular to ab from point y and h2 perpendicular to ac from point x after this join yb and xc so proof what is the proof here for proving this theorem first of all we will find out area of triangle axy so area of the triangle is always given by half into base into height so area of the triangle axy when base is ax is half into ax into h1 similarly in the second point we will find out area of the triangle bxy if base of bxy is xb then area of the triangle bxy will be given by half into xb into h1 so for getting the value of ax upon xb we will divide first equation by the second one so area of the triangle axy upon area of the triangle bxy is equal to half into ax into h1 upon half into xb into h1 so it is equals to half half get cancelled off h1 h1 get cancelled off so it will be equals to ax upon xb similarly we can prove that area of the triangle axy upon area of the triangle cxy is equals to ay upon yc so for proving ax upon xb equals to ay upon yc we have to prove that area of the triangle axy upon area of the triangle bxy is equals to area of the triangle axy upon area of the triangle cxy here numerators are same that is area of the triangle axy but for the denominator triangle bxy and triangle cxy lie between same parallels that is line l parallel to side bc and it has same base that is xy so area of the triangle bxy is equals to area of the triangle cxy therefore in the sixth point we will write down as area of the triangle axy upon area of the triangle bxy is equals to area of the triangle axy upon area of the triangle cxy from fifth now we can substitute area of the triangle axy upon area of the triangle bxy as ax upon xb and area of the triangle axy upon area of the triangle cxy as ay upon yc that's why ax upon xb will be equals to ay upon yc and that's the proof